Would you believe me if I told you that in Chicago, you're likely more than 50% to get away with if you take somebody out? I don't want to say the word. You know what I mean. Let's get into this. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe, trying to do right I got a mission, trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong Hey, what's up, JC with Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell, support the cause. Come on, man. I'm having a good day today. I am going to be in a good mood. What's up, Rasa? If you're part of my family, you know what's up. Suvansela <laughs> la Suburban. Let me put some gas in because I don't want to run out of gas in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> what's up? You know, um, Chicago's always gonna be my home. It's always gonna have a very, very special part in my heart. And it's where I grew up. It was where I was bred. It was where uh, I had uh, a lot of experiences, you know, with life and everything. And, you know, it's sad to see what's going on, you know. There's a lot, a lot of people dying. A lot of people doing a lot of time. A lot of broken hearts from families, moms everything and it's sad to, to think about the percentage is so high and and for, I, I did the I did some research and it's more than 50% likely for you to get away with a homicide in Chicago than anywhere else um, there was I think 5,700 and something homicides from 2000 Seven, 2000, 2015 to 2017 and only 1,320 were like convicted. That's, that's, that's huge. And all that war is coming from the drugs, the money, the cartels having a very, very heavy, heavy presence in Chicago. They always have. I've done videos in the past about how the Sinaloa cartel had a huge, huge presence in uh, Little Villita, the neighborhood where I was born and, and grew up. Um, and it's it's happening. Even the, the Nueva Generación is there in Chicago. All the cartels have a piece of Chicago because there's so many gangs and organizations out there that it, it is a hub for distribution. It is a hub for, it, it, it's perfect. All the big trains go through there, all the big boats, everything the planes i mean you name it it's one of the biggest airports also so it's 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 a hub it's a hub and, and it's it's getting to the point where it is really really bad where you know so many killings and uh like i said people doing time there's there's it's it's a broken city i want to say it like that man it's sad because it's my city I love Chicago. I, I, I miss it every day. You know, I tell people Arizona is my adopted parent. You know, I love Arizona. I love, I, I love the weather out here. I love the people. I love to be out here. You, you cannot pay me to go back to Chicago, but do I miss it every day? Yeah, I, I miss my home. I miss the food. I miss the people. I miss downtown. I miss the lake. We used to go to the Fullerton, get off right there on the lake and party right there. And, you know, um, I miss it. I miss it, but it is what it is. You know, life changes, new chapters start, and, and, and you, you move on. You 
can't control sometimes where, you know, life takes you. And the sad part is that it breaks my heart that I get phone calls, you know, from, I, I have, throughout all the time that I've, I've done time, I've become friends with, you know, a lot of people in different organizations, different, you know, uh, like I said, I don't like to call them gangs, so I call them organizations, you know, counts, bishops, uh, kings, uh, deuces, two six. I mean, you name it. Uh, I, I've done time in a lot of prisons in Illinois State. I've done fed time. So, <clears throat> you know, I've been around the block, so I've met a lot of people. And to get phone calls, you know, um, if it's not a brother that's doing, you know, life now, it's a brother that got killed. And... It is happening a lot now because of the, the, we're in a new era. We're in the, you know, social media era. You know, never, I would have never thought that I would be making <laughs> YouTube channels. <laughs> All I hope is that somebody watches me at the right time and they learn from my story, my experiences, and then maybe, maybe at least for that day, I plant the seed and they don't go that route because it doesn't end good. There's, it's not Cinderella story. You know, it, you end up in the ground or you, you end up doing life. And, you know, I hate to say it, you know, my boy Chocolate doing 63, my boy Peanuts doing 72, uh, Leo's doing 63. Um, you know, they're, they're never coming home, man. And... It's, it's sad. It's sad to live a life like that, you know, and, and it's all because of money, greed, you know, and, and all this uh, gang stuff. And, and a lot of it has to come from, you know, the heavy presence of the cartels moving so much drugs and so much money in, in these places that it's just, it's, it's messing up a lot of people and it's very, very sad. Um, a lot of people would think that, that, Phoenix would be would be bad because it's a border town, but Phoenix is just it's just a jumping stone. It's just a bridge. Everything goes to the big cities, you know, Miami, LA, Chicago, New York. You know, that's where the big bucks are at. Not because Phoenix doesn't have the money, it's because once it gets over there, that's where it's twenty thousand more or ten thousand more. And it creates so much hate, so much greed. It, it just, it gets so crazy out of hand, man. And it's one of the biggest things that I promised myself when I got out is that no matter what, whether, you know, my, my message got out there fast or it got out there slow, it didn't matter. Like I was going to just keep, keep grinding and grinding and grinding, putting my videos out, visiting, visiting the prison, talking to all all my homies are locked up and, and the, the ones that are out doing good and just making sure that like I just maybe somehow give a little bit of myself to them and, and just spread a little bit of positive energy to just be able to give them hope man you know and and it's not worth it it's not worth it you know my, my channel is about gangs my channel is about prison my channel is about you know cartel my my channel is about all this stuff but at the end of the day my channel is about change yes i lived that life yes i sold drugs yes i ran drugs yes i you know worked with the cartel yes i was in a gang yes i was an sd yes i was a land king i was i was all those things all those things i was a kid that was lost and didn't realize what his purpose was. I know what my purpose is today. My purpose today is to help dudes like me change their lives so they can see that it's possible, that you don't need a high school you know, diploma and a GED to actually want to live life and be better and, and all these things. Do, do, should you get it? Yeah, you should. I got a GED. <laughs> they told me I wouldn't get it, and I got it. And I got a couple of college credits, you know. I'm just saying, you know, a little something. <laughs> but I learned. I taught myself. I taught myself how to open, get an uh, LLC. I taught myself how to open my nonprofit. I taught myself how to make videos. I, I made that intro for my video. I, 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 you know, the intro with the chain, you know, the last one. 
<laughs> That's the one I made. The other one, my, my video guy made it. But what I'm saying is that your past does not define who you are. You could become somebody, you could be somebody. If you spend the same amount of time that you're spending on the streets, hustling and doing all that nonsense, trust me, you could have your own company, you could, you could be an LLC, just in the right way. But, you know, I ain't nobody to judge, man. So don't judge nobody. Everybody, nobody knows why they're doing what they're doing. Nobody know, knows what they've been through or what they're going through or what's about to happen. All you can do is be supportive, be there, show them you care. And, you know, like I said, give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane. Don't judge nobody. Live savage. And live your life to the fullest because you never know if you're not going to wake up tomorrow. Remember, if you live hard, life is easy. If you live is easy, life is hard. And I am the poster boy for that. My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.